did not come back. And a lot of times the false positive stick figures will be really weird looking, really long or really unusual. Yeah. Um, so it's fun when you get one that looks normal. Where did my roll? Got a pink one. So the fun thing would be to let folks see. Yeah. There's a little bit of back room there. Um, you don't but we don't necessarily need often. to go to a lot to of To a places. weird spot. Yeah. See how it just mapped that box right there for yeah. a second? Yeah. See that? So what is oh, wow. the line for? So it's trying to make sense out of what's yeah. there. And so... There's a dead body there. Um, well, this is the corner it mapped earlier, but it mapped up higher, so... Does the, does the uh, I'm a little bit colorblind, is that blue, is that, is that... That's the stick figure screen, and we can change it to infrared. The color, the colors don't really matter so much as just trying to figure out. So see how that changed quite drastically? Well, either it's mapping something in the environment to try to make sense out of it, or there's something there. It, it, I'm going to go it, on the side that it's it mapping. Anything, it's yeah. If it moves, or if it responds intelligently, then we can assume that it's not just trying to make sense out of something in the wall. Hmm. There's a lot, of, oh, I'm sorry, there's a lot of EMF in here. Well, it's, 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 just so you guys know. Right <laughs> But no, there's a lot. There's clubs above and below you. Yeah, I've never seen it do this. So it's still mapping the corner. So what I would do is say, if, is there someone yeah, standing in the move, corner? With, Can you with, move out of the corner? Go after Charles. Yeah. And so nothing's happening, so I would say that's just a false positive. I don't think that's anything there. So it's not a dead body in the wall? No, it's not. But you would generally, uh, with more time, probably combine this with, uh, with the recorder, with uh, some of the other tools in your toolbox, yeah. right? Yeah, I would usually use the EMF. Um, but the EMF is really triggered yeah, in here. Yeah, yeah. So, and you're, uh, but this is another reason is right why there. we turn off the lights and the power God. when we oh, go somewhere. So you shut everything down. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to shut the breaker, yeah, but yeah, usually yeah. just cutting the lights will help reduce the EMF unless it's like leaking from gotcha. somewhere. Yeah, it's um, certainly It definitely right. thinks that there's something there. It doesn't, again, it does not mean that there is. Yeah, it's the, it's the broom. Yeah. If you want to bring the cat ball, if you want to bring the cat ball over, you can put it here. So this is one Which way. Which one, the cat ball? Yep, because the cat ball won't be affected by oh, any of right. the other. Oh yeah, you got the big air conditioner right there. It's here. Where would you like it? Just stick in the corner. But I moved the broom, and we don't have a stick figure anymore. But it's not even sticking out. There we go. Might have a slope on the floor. Do we have a no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's. I'm pretty sure there's a slope because this is an old. We should bring the leveler. I have X Y leveler. Let's see if there's a slope. I actually floor. have. Um, I have something in my, my purse if I wanted to dig it out. I could. So we'll let the cat ball stop because look at this. So flashlights are like a mag light where you have to turn the end to make it work. Those are a really fun tool to use. Can somebody, if there's somebody with us, can you um, touch our little ball that we just put on the floor in the doorway? If you touch it, it'll light up. And that'll let us know you're here. Yeah, 
scores really uneven. So let's change this to we can go to infrared. What is the pink back there? I'm not sure. It's I don't really know exactly how it maps the different colors, mm -hmm. um, but it's it might have to do with depth. Oh, okay. So I'm still kind of learning back there, back there. how the software works. Um, the software is meant to work for this specific purpose. So see. So now it's trying to map top. So it mapped him. And it's really cool when you see it like this. <laughs> it's very bizarre. It's <laughs> Man, Todd, you are like, your legs are going crazy. I've never seen you move so much. Yeah, it's interesting. So if a stick figure were to pop up right now, because we can see, you can see the little glowing dots. Mm -hmm. That's the connect sensors. Oh, reaching out. Yeah, they're infrared, so we can't see them with our eyes, you which is super cool. That, you might if you put on a night vision yeah, or IR. Totally but it will IR also eyes. probably, they'll oh. probably fight. No, but if you, were, <laughs> if you were to point the camera to the front of that, you would see the, the uh, yeah. infrared lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the the, the best thing is you can carry this around and, and you can walk, but like you guys saw, it t kind of takes a second to map something, even when you know there's someone there. So the best thing, okay, nope. did you see how that yeah. just appeared out of nowhere? Yeah. So you, you caught on camera that yeah. we have been staring at this corner for quite some time. Right. And now it's mapping something that it was not mapping previously. It looks so, like maybe right on that ladder or something. Someone trying to climb the ladder. Well, then you ask a question, right? Yeah, normally we would ask yes or no questions with the it's EMF. Dancing. But if we can potentially use the cat ball. Do you want to grab the cat ball? What is it? Um, this would also be a good time to break out the spirit box and or ask questions. Is it unusual for it to be moving so much if it's no, just a it's, stationary it, object? Where do you want me to put it? I mean, well, you saw when we put it over there right. and it mapped the big scrawling oh, thing, right. it didn't move at all. Yeah. If you want to put it, yep, Emma's got it. So see how it's mapping? Now it's gone because it's mapping her. So it could be a false positive. Um, but we consider that we had been mapping that for quite several minutes right. and it, it was it wasn't grabbing onto that ladder before so the fact that it just appeared um, so we'll just do this so we just put a ball in the corner and that ball will light up if you touch it you might have to touch it kind of hard but we would love to know that someone's here with us. So if it's possible for you to tap or push the ball, we would love to see it light up. Or maybe you could come join us. my position again to see if I can recreate the circumstances where we got that stick figure I think I was roughly here right and it is not generating it's not mapping the ladder right. so I think you all have a ghost just kidding <laughs> well, I mean, it's not that easy for me, but it is interesting because now we've attempted to debunk it. We've 
repositioned ourselves, we've moved, um, and we can't get it to recreate the same instance. So, so not conclusive. Yeah, I would I would say it was non conclusive as evidence by itself. Mm -hmm. So if we were to get something else. So I think what we could do is try doing an EVP session. Which uh, which is with the digital recorder. Oh, okay. So that thing is virtually useless here because there is a lot of EMF in this building. So I'm gonna keep it on the corner. We have a camera on the corner by the fridge, refrigerator. So if you come back, we can see you. The hard part about this is not feeling stupid when you're talking to the air. Well, it's just but like I mean, fishing. Yeah. Well, most of the time, you're standing on the you're bank. Standing all all that is, is speaking out loud, and that's, there's nothing right. stupid about that. Right, it's mostly yeah. just sitting and drinking beer. I do that all the time, and I'm ADHD. I talk to myself all the time, because well, who else is going to listen? Yeah, but you're talking to yourself. Oh, it's, oh, it's Charles. <laughs> I'm like, it's nothing something. Oh wait, no, no, it's not you. Do you have another cat ball? Do you have another? No, we want another one. Oh. Uh, you open all four. Okay, is that? That thing is still. Well, it's calmed down a little bit. You took it over there, and it was pretty excited, right? Look at look at that. What is it mapping? Oh hi. Welcome back. Can you um? Can you touch our little ball? Where'd you put the ball? The air ladder. Oh, it's on the it's ladder. Fine now. Oh, it keeps going. That this is creepy. Oh, on this. Uh, just a bathroom back there. That's. The I know, but I, it feels creepy yeah. to me. <laughs> we were talking about feelings. <laughs> I'm not all stuck over there. some feelings. Um, okay, we have a. Is that in front of the camera though? So. Let's move over this way just a little bit. For those watching, we are, we are doing an active investigation inside the building here in Rankin, Washington. Oh, no, no, no. there's the floor. Yeah, we gotta get a slope out. <laughs> I have a little thing in my, I have a little dish that is perfect for that. So we're gonna try, so with it, we're gonna try an EV, EVP session, so, um, we want to try not to move around too much so that we minimize background noise and then hopefully we'll pick up the cars. I'm going to actually come over here. So I get like a heavy feeling. I feel a little anxious. Yeah, that, that room kind of weirds me out too. Yeah, maybe we should point the SLS this way. But Do you want me to try point no. here in the middle? No, because this is, this is a hot spot. So and the sensor is just picking up you right now. Yeah, it should, but it won't matter. It'll pick up anyone. So it even if it's picking up me, if something else were to stand next to me, it'll it'll pick them up too. Okay, so Okay, I just heard your neighbors, I hope. There's apartments above us? Yes. Okay, because I heard I hear foot I hear movement. <laughs> okay. So we're doing an EVP session and I guess we'll start. 10 there any, huh? 1030. Is there anyone here with us? If there's anyone in this space with us, can you tell us your name? Did you live here? Did you live in this building? Maybe you worked here at one point? Can you tell us how old you are? we can play it back and see if we hear anything but again this would be better processed okay. through like a computer where we can see the wave files figure out how to play it okay because I, I hear books i hear movement okay so we're doing an evp 
session and I guess we'll start. Is there any, huh? Is there anyone here with us? If there's anyone in this space with us, can you tell us your name? We're here on an actual investigation. We would take our time. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know, just because. But just like I said, a, ma a majority of it is boring and nothing happens. So you find other ways to ent entertain yourself. Um, but when you see like the TV shows or the YouTubers or whatever, they're spending six or eight hours at a place. And then editing. And then editing it yeah. to where they have the action and the good stuff. Yeah. Um, so this gives you an idea of what it's like. But yeah, no, this is the helpful. point is just because I mean I I feel like that is really interesting to me yeah. that we yeah. caught two stick figures, and if it was continually mapping in the same spot then I would say that that's nothing, that's a false positive. But the fact that it's not... <laughs> it moved, yeah. Yeah. So I would say the last thing we could do for, for Fonzies um, is to do an ESTA session. So does anybody feel like being blindfolded and connected? Volunteers? <laughs> we got a volunteer. All right. I can take my glasses off, that effectively makes me blind. Do, right? your, do your headphones, you don't actually have to be blindfolded. It really, what it helps is the sensory deprivation helps you to hear better, right? Because they say yeah. when you lose one sense, it makes your other senses stronger. Do you guys have any headphones that would plug into a is normal? Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just a normal, wherever yeah. it is, yeah. headphone jack. Because I know some of the recording equipment ones are bigger. Yeah, it's, 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 it's so weird though because it felt like when we went over here and then came back is when the stick figures started showing back up again. And we do know that Jeff spends the night down here sometimes in his little tent. So. Does he hear anything? <laughs> I, he has this, but we've never had this conversation about it, too. So it's not, you know, something you're like, hey, Jeff, when you're down here, do you ever, you know, but I'm going to ask him next time. I see him. He probably won't want to know. Well, he's out here, right? He's out there, though, yeah. He's not in here. I wouldn't think so. The page. Okay, so I can't hear you guys very well. Huh? Yeah, exactly. So I was just testing it. You might be able to hear that we're talking, but you shouldn't be able to hear what we're saying. Now, when you're listening to this, don't overthink it. Okay. So you're going to want to try to, you, you know you're hearing words and you're going to want to try to make them words. Just repeat out loud anything you hear that you think is a word. Okay. And don't be worried about it. Don't overthink it. Just say it. Okay. No matter how ridiculous it okay. sounds, yeah. 
Even laughter, like if you do laughter. Yeah, laughter, numbers. So make sure your ears are fully covered. Okay. Can you hear me? Can you hear what I'm saying? Okay, so we're doing an ESTA session, meaning he can't hear the questions I'm asking. He can only hear the radio. So if there's anybody here in the space with us, if you talk to the radio my friend is holding, we can hear words that you're saying. We would love to know what your name is. We're nice. Is it mapping? Legit, this just sounds like, remember when the dinosaurs changing channels on Toy Story? That's what it sounds like. Can you tell us your name? So it's not mapping him. You don't have enough of it. No. Sense? It's mapping. Or sense? Can you tell us your name? We would really like to know your name. Yeah, it's definitely. Like? Do you like having company? Good. You think it's good to have someone who can talk to you? Almost. How long have you been here? So it's mapping someone right next to him. I heard a growl. Okay. Are you upset that you're stuck in this building? It looks like it's touching you. Eight. Eight years? Have you been stuck here for Four. eight? Four. Are you touching my friend? Eve? Are you reaching for the radio? Real? Can you tell us your name? Do you see that? You might have to tell him more than once. Can you have him back up a little bit to get the full field in there? Or can you back up to get the full field in there? Because right now we're only have half of our it's not here. It's not mapping him. No, I know. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> if you pull it back, though, will it? You see it's a lot of static in music. Can you try telling my friend your name? Try changing angles. Like, come over here a bit here. Reserve. Are you a little shy? Yeah. Pretty? Do you think my friend is pretty? Practice? We would really like to hear your name. So we know who we're talking to. Try the angles of the room, that angle, and this angle. Try over here. And then try closer over there to see if you can get to map the full body of our questionnaire. 
I think it said thanks. Difficult? We would still really like to know your name. So you mentioned four and eight. Say years or decades. Go ahead, you can ask. Please. Oh, look we'll at that. How long have you been here? Four years or four decades? How old are you? Do you see it? Was four your years of age or eight? What do you suppose that is? Tay. Is your name Tay or Taya? And now it's gone. I didn't know. How old are you? Chris? Is your name Chris? Kirk. Okay, that's weird. Are you are you a child? Not. You're not a child? Are you a teenager? What is your age? Chris? Chris, how old are you? He might have been told. Please? It's just really hard to pick up. Mm. So, so I can just hear Staff? Were you part of staff here at one point? Did you work here? Can you stand next to our friend? Are you tired? Do you want to go now? Do you want us to go now? W? Is that W? W? I don't know. W? W? Yeah, we're just calling each other names. No, we can't. Make that up. Okay. Does that make sense? So usually after we go a little while with no responses, then we'll take a break. I just feel like it's pushing too hard or something. Well, the theory is that it takes energy to do this. Uh, and so, you know, energy might get drained. And for that reason, we always bring extra batteries whenever we go anywhere yeah, and make sure sense. everything's fully yeah. charged. Uh, so I think, I think we're probably done. And I didn't write anything down because well, he was like, it. yeah. Well, yeah. typically we'll bring a notepad and we'll just write words down. Okay, so yeah. I think yeah. I think yeah. we're good. His ears would probably appreciate. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's really hard to listen. It's really hard to listen. The mapping's still there. I mean, it's. All right, you're it's good. What about this? <laughs> How many of us do you see? So were you able to uh, hear us I at see all? I heard you didn't talk, but I couldn't tell what you were being. Yeah, about. I couldn't determine. Nor does anyone want to try it just to see what it's like? Yeah, why don't you guys try it? You really should. It's fun. I, I think the. <laughs> Go ahead, Mike. There's a lot of things that were said that. Come on, Mike. Are you scared? No. Okay. All the other kids are doing it. Yeah, we're the cool kids, man. 
My headphones might be a little, little sweaty though. Peer pressure, peer pressure. pressure. Yeah, pressure. So let's calibrate it really quick. So can take a look. Do you see me? Um, can we have another person walk out here, stand next to me? Here we go. What do you see? Do you see two? Okay, I think it's mapping you. Now it's mapping both of you. Okay, so. And whatever was there next to Todd earlier is no longer there. Okay. There was something next to me? Oh yeah, I was touching you. Uh, it could have been it, some live streaming. It could have been that it ha was having trouble mapping him. Oh, now it's next to oh. here. Is there something next to me? Yeah, it, it looks to be about... Small? Small. Less. Yeah, there, so there was definitely small, a small like, one next to you. This, this yeah. yeah, there was definitely a small one next to you. Look so at that. You'll have to watch back the video, but you you did actually it's, give us... It looks like it's sitting down. I don't know, it looks like it could be an animal. Maybe, yeah, okay. it was really small. We thought maybe it was a child. Okay. Pretty, pretty crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> did you hear any words? You hear a lot of words. Uh, I, uh, nothing nothing intelligible. Yeah. Is it still there? It is. Yeah, yeah. it looks like it's trying to touch you. Mm. Okay, I'm going to put this, I'm gonna put this on. You. And um, maybe you so, want to wanna do it? Maybe you could do, like, um, how would you interact with an animal or a dog? Is this the side that it's on it's where better. I'm reaching out? It's is that the side? Am I yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. It's, it's, it's it seems like it's stretching occasionally. It's reaching out. It's kind of it's kind of like. Can you touch my hand? It's okay for you to touch my hand. It's trying. Fortune. And also, my lady friend can hear you if you talk to her. Oh, I just got a weird. <laughs> See, that's the anecdotal stuff. <laughs> Right. From your sense of thing, it looks like it's trying to touch you. It's probably just my brain, but... I mean, it's reaching out several times. Can you tell us your name? Can you say your name to my, to my lady friend, Emma? Speaks. Kind of buzzing. You're a lot of static. Is your name Chris? Can you tell her the name Chris? That was the name I heard three times. Mm -hmm. Or at least two times. Is salt in it? That's sweet. We would still really like Fire. to know how old you are. If there's someone in here with us, can you tell us how old you are? Looks like you've fallen and I can't get up. Sorry. Where did, what happened Thank to you. the cat ball? Nick. Uh -huh. Nick? Is your name Nick? I'm probably going to make it to the... Oh, you just walked through and it disappeared. Yep. There's a guitar in here. Yeah, it's Mike's. Sit. I have a ball. It lights up. From eight to eight. When it stops blushing, if, if you touch it, if you step on it, human, that will let us know that you're with us. Not. You're not human. You're trying to scare us. Can you step on the ball that I just put on the floor? Step on it as hard as you can. Yes. Careful. Is it mapping anything? Mom? Now don't get insulting. It's not, been, not mapping anything but Professor. you right now. That's fine. Come closer? Come closer to what? Can you come stand by me again? 
Eight. What's the second time we got eight? Is that their age, you wonder? I don't wonder because when we ask for an age, that's not when we get a number. Oh, okay. So, I want it to happen when we ask. Today. Can you step on my ball, please? If you step on it, it'll light up. Mike. Didn't you guys say there's there. someone named Mike? Oh. This. Do you know Mike? It's too young. Is it a baby? Is there a baby in here? Come, Ruth. Can you step on my ball? Trust. Do you want me to go on? I don't know if that made any sense. Mm -hmm. Nothing's showing up uh, mapping wise except yeah. for you. So. Okay. So it's probably. Probably done. Probably went to bed. Probably went to bed. I went to bed. Should. So, really quickly, I'm going to just take it back there. Yeah. Where I'm it's from just the a bathroom on the left, and then the downstairs door is off to the right. So it's not so a huge. So if space. you look right here, you can tell it's mapping the door frame. Oh, okay. But what is freaking me out about it? Because I actually do feel a little freaked out. Is how human-like it looks. So earlier when it was mapping that corner, remember it was right. really weird and stretched yeah. out, but that looks like how it looks when it was mapping one of us. Yeah. But oh, then as I move it, you can see how it gets funky. Um, so I'm gonna try to get it to map that Emma. Yeah, it's not mapping Emma. Now it's mapping you. Okay, and it jumped off the door frame. So, it's the, I'm pretty sure it was just the door frame, but it, it freaked me out just a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the cat. Hold on to something. Is there anybody back here in the bathroom? There's more back there. You know what, your poor plant? <laughs> I was waiting for that. I was waiting for her to chastise somebody about the plant. <laughs> oh, Mike waters it every week, but. Uh, I knew she would. She is a gardener. It... So there's nothing coming up on the on the SOS. It's not mapping anything. Nothing back in the nope. past could be placed. Yes, yeah, so that's where I wanted to get us, is through that door right there. Oh my gosh, that that's the basement down. door? I think so. And it's so creepy but, when it's blocked up yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, so it's mapping. Both of you. This is your last chance. We're about to leave. Your last chance to let us know you're here. If you come and stand right in front of me, or stand by this black seat, I can pick you up on my camera.
think we're done. All right. 